In the heart of the quiet British countryside, one of Britain's highest security prisons, HMP Frankland, houses the UK's most dangerous extremists. Since the recent UK terror attack carried out by Khalid Massoud, a prison convert, the government has launched a crackdown following a review of extremism in prisons. The review found there was a risk of radicals using their time behind bars to recruit. They are fertile recruiting grounds for people, uh, for extremist uh, groups and individuals. This prison's to become the first in the UK to open a separation centre. Under the plans, the Ministry of Justice say three new separation units will be created, so-called jails within jails. These will hold up to 28 offenders who pose the greatest risk of influencing other prisoners. Once separated, prisoners will be reviewed every three months. It's clear from the recommendations for combating extremism in prisons that for these separation centres to be successful, they'll need to be skilled staff with specialist training. But all of this comes at a time when prisons have seen their budgets slashed and staff cut. And what's going to take place here at this prison is largely untried and untested. It's an experiment, and the outcome at this point is unknown. The Prison Officers Association argued this risks creating a Guantanamo-style prison system here in the UK. Imam Ajmal Mazrour has spent a large amount of time working to tackle radicalisation and calls the current government plans a short-term fix. I don't think by segregating them into secure and completely isolated units will be eradicating the world of any radical elements or the extreme narratives. We are only dealing with symptoms right now, not the cause. These latest plans are small scale, but the problem is a complex one. How to ensure those in UK prisons are being rehabilitated instead of radicalised. Sarah Firth, TRT World, London.